Well, hey guys, and uh, welcome back to D4. This time I can actually say it. I'm Asharike. I know I started here just because I love the soundtracks. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Let's continue from where we were. A passenger okay, is simply go. vanishing from an aircraft mid flight. Does that sound possible to you? Hmm. Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit, he's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. It evidence like a, that may well have led to the ID of the source yeah. of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Okay. Like something out of a magic act. Huh. I can do that too, guys. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name Back of the again. boss he was going to give up apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence <clears throat> revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Yeah, man. Let me ask you again. Come on. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft Mid flight. I do it all the time. Does that sound possible to you? Yes, I do it all the time. It might be. Almost anything is possible. That's why you brought this to me in the first place, isn't it? I'm glad we're on the same page. The courier had the evidence with him. Oh, I tell you, there's got to be a third party involved somewhere. Oh! Collect that. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. She's so weird. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. Okay, cool. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one. You'll oh, he sees things through object. Okay. So he sees the objects past. That's quite cool. I can do that though. See you later. Close it. New character outfit. Amanda. What's in the cupboard? Apparently I need more food. Yeah. Ah. A credit. Any food for me? Potato chip. Pizza? No, he can't turn he has a lot of pizza. I like his house. Hey dude. Are you eating okay? About food. What's up, David? Feeling hungry? A bit. Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Your badge Ugh. says detective for a reason, Teddy. <laughs> Go get Amanda. The more the merrier at the dinner table. Okay. I'm gonna have dinner! Oh, what the fuck's wrong with her? Tell me, Teddy. What's up with you and Diana? She's got a bit. Nothing much. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. 
but both of you are originally from New York. I thought you'd be double teaming me. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. Oh, I'm a Bostonian legend. now, body and soul. Okay. Diana doesn't see it that way? Nah. She's still got her head stuck What's right he up in New York. You meant to be eating. So what was it this time? Baseball? Basketball? Fucking <laughs> Not football. I ain't like that. Nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, um, this one's bigger. Much bigger. It's all about clam chowder. Clam okay. chowder. Yeah, clam chowder. Is that a pizza? No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. You're, you're with me on this, right? Right? Huh? Oh, but Diana just can't see it. I have no basis for comparison. Jesus, man! What? I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best in the world by default! Somewhere. Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh, come on, David! Mm, sorry. <sighs> I can't help you out. I can't say anything absolute oh. that isn't based on personal experience. Very true. I didn't need you on this. All I needed you to say was damn straight. Fuck, shut up, fatty. Clam chowder, pizza, ale. <laughs> Bostonians. Number one complete. I completed the quest. Look. Meal of the day. I have an itchy, itchy eye, guys. What the hell? Right. Anything I can help you with? Uh, uh, BPD in this case. So how are the BPD tied up in this? The BPD has the special drugs unit after all. The team you once belonged to. Yeah. Once. We have a long history of handling real blood. Yes. Our past knowledge can come in handy for cases like this one. About real blood. Any progress with the case since I left? Uh, we're still hard at work on it. We're not getting any results. This drug is king across New England now. Mm. Yeah, it's been under <coughs> analysis for oh, years, but on, MIT on. still doesn't know how to make it. Seriously, the world's going to hell. Charlie's in the drug enforcement. Administration. So why this courier turn witness anyway? I don't know the details, but apparently he's in fear for his life. Okay. Turned himself into the DEA. Yeah. And they trust him? Uh, I don't know about that either. But this is information about the mastermind behind real blood. I mean, they're probably saying, can't hurt to hear him out. I feel exactly the same way. About the past. Do you think the past can be changed? David, you can't change the past. You just have to accept the past. I know. I think David can change. If I could just meet with little Peggy one last time, I'll change the past. You'll see. Identify the courier. Identity of the courier. What's the bio on the courier? Antonio Zapatero. 28. Quick to go underground, but then quickly pops up again somewhere else. That's why they call him the Courier Rabbit. Wow. Why rabbit? Why rabbit? He's also a womanizer. Thought so. So as they fuck like a rabbit. You know how rabbits are? Strong libidos. Okay. Bet the ladies call him Bunny in bed. <laughs> Courier and his evidence. Why is this courier running his mouth about providing evidence then? Standing out like that, he'll get penalized and sit out a match. It's like he's begging the bad guys to come silence him. It's a real blood case after all. I mean, a regular courier wouldn't talk. Even if it meant death, <coughs> I had to choose between jail and hell. 
I could choose Man, between I'd them. still choose lockup. Uh, there's something behind all this. Let's choose hell. Conspiracy theories. There's aliens involved. The aliens did so it. So it's all a big conspiracy? The aliens did it. Don't ask me. The aliens did it. There are people who have conspiracy theories about your case, though. You lost your beloved wife. And I lost the best partner a cop could ever ask for. Yeah, the more you think about the questions, the more distant the answers become. Humans may not have the ability to understand the complete truth. Back. Oh, I can't do that. So I didn't actually need to know anything. So, I'm not meant to do. There's a bagel! Oh, it's not a bagel. It's a burger! Hamburger. He eats so damn much. A kettle. Do you want some wine? No. There's nothing here. Let's go to the door. Oh! Oops! Let's go out. See you later, guys. Okay. Yeah. Push it, pigeon. Oh. Yeah. Ha ha. Boom. What am I looking? Windows Nothing open. sticks out to me. Really? Nothing sticks out? The wind is open. What's that? Silver crate. Pigeons! I don't know what I'm about to do. It doesn't really explain much. Just like, kind of sitting here. I will get back in here. Guys, grab the coffee. Now he's got a... What the hell? That's not a coffee mug. Let's go to TV. What's on TV? Eh. Oh, sorry. Turn it on, bitch. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Oh. Do you want to watch too? We're just at the best bit. Little. See you, man. Turn it off, boy. Just turn it off. Sorry. There's a letter. Did you see it? Is it a letter? Look up the ground. Oh. There's a letter on the side there. There's a little Peggy's letters to David. <laughs> Potato chip. Push the squirrel. Okay, guys. I found out what I was meant to do. Teddy. So that was a win. Thanks for all the help. Huh. No problem, David. We're partners. You may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. Hell, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy!
Det är livet med. Det är livet. Det är det. Så. Why does he have to be in the bathroom? I don't understand. Some weird. Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. She's so fucking weird. Oh, you bastard! I didn't get that. <gasps> Confidential. Alright. Little Peggy. Time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> Past the intro. <laughs> ah, that's the results from the first mission. I did all right. Got these costumes stuff. Added replayed episode function. Prologue. We skip the prologue! Put past the prologue, boys! And girls and people. Proceed to next episode. Of course. Why wouldn't I? That's why I use the bolt thing. David. <laughs> this this is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> Wait, I swear this happened in the first place. Oh! See? If it's the owl, then we've definitely done something wrong. Light screen. Nope! There we go. Episode 1. Gordian Knot. Whatever his name was. Ball! Match. Now the lavatory. On an airplane. On an airplane. A successful dive. Catching memories called mementos. Allows me to dive into the past. That's awesome. Weird though. The day little Peggy was killed, I survived. Miraculously, somehow, I survived. I can do that. In exchange for losing my memory, I gained this power. See? That has to be a sign of something. Magic. The past will surely tell me the truth. Thing, isn't it? When you Look for D. Yeah. I can't get a voice out of my head. Who killed her? Just who is D? Do you know what would be really weird? And a weird thing to do anyway. The only way to silence that voice is to change my fate. D. David. <laughs> that would just be weird. So bad if he killed him. Who is D? Killer? Conspirator? Mastermind? I don't know who he is. Witness? Or maybe. Or maybe. Come on, eh? That will go up. Let's go up. Part of losing stamina. It's handy. Vanishing from an airplane during a flight? That's impossible. 
No, it's improbable. There's got to be something I'm missing. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Uh, oh. uh, Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> David. Little Peggy. Sir, are you okay? You look like you've just seen a ghost. I'm sorry. My apologies, Olivia. You just look so much like an old girlfriend of mine. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh! Bold! Just a second. I actually thought little Peggy had come back to life. Bold. Oh, uh, 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 dear, we're hitting tablets. Oh, um, I have to get back to That's work. quick. He's pulled. Sure. No problem, Olivia. Just one thing, sir. You're surely aware that we carry a passenger list aboard. Huh. Memorized it, have you? We don't take kindly to stowaways, if that's what you are. A stowaway, am I? Well, Miss Olivia Jones. Maybe you're on to me. That was quick. <laughs> How did she know? There were like so many people in that place. Oh. She's the bitch. I think it's this guy. Hey, dude. There he is. Legend. Good of mine. I know. Jesus, someone's got a coat in my face. Uh, yeah. Bullet wheels. Expensive sunglasses. <laughs> You're a United States Marshal. You're transporting a key witness, but reading a completely different file. Does that just mean you're passionate about your job? Or is there something else going on here? You, what are you doing here? Derek Buchanan, oh, he knows. United States Marshal. How do you know me? The owner of the memento I used to get here. Along with a name that starts with D. Two signs I can't ignore. I said I'd kill you if I saw you again. Didn't I, boy? It seems we've already met somewhere. Actually, the thing is... I can tell you the details, but it might take a while. I don't want your life story. Do I need to spell it out to you? Get lost. <laughs> I'm afraid that doesn't work for me. I've got business with him. Antonio Rabbit Zapatero, a dealer of the drug called Real Blood. Oh, right. Apparently, he also has evidence that could lead to the identity of D. If that's true, it makes him the most important person on this flight. You really have a death wish, don't you? Yet you might be the one who dies. How dare you. You should get out as quickly as you can. I'll keep the fountain pen. To remember you by. Ha! Ah, what a wonder who he is. Charlie. Hey dude, can I have someone off the trolley? Anything off the trolley, dear? I know I heard. But of course. I, I just, again, I. I know no, I heard. No, I. I, I hmm. Yeah, bud. Hey there. Water. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing under there. Too. Snow on the front. Cherry blossoms on the back. Okay. They change them according to the season? It isn't totally atrocious, but hardly <laughs> avant-garde now, is it? 
I'd expect no less from uh. the of course. Would it have killed them to use a little real stitching? Honestly! Uh. And who might you... I don't ask for opinions from the uninspired. Suki, baby! What do you think? Dress all the seats white, then crown them with a single pink stag beetle? Oh, yes! Or maybe change all these to black lights, but not too dramatic. Just play Does straight. your mannequin ever reply? She's not a mannequin! She's my partner. She is? Yes, oh, really? She oh, is. You two should be I'm so happy. Duncan. Duncan. And this? Oh, is I'm Duncan. So this is so We're top fashion designers. The both of us. So cute. From the fuck's wrong. The fashion designers. Mm. Boys mm. with life. Duncan. Oh. So this guy's also a D. Some people just don't get it, no matter how many times you tell them. My bad, uh -huh. I'm sure. Can I ask you something? I don't need your opinion. After all, I have Suki. The sunglasses in particular are strikingly progressive, don't you think? This is Avangab! Avangab! Oh, <laughs> the, fabulous. the cart that was blocking the aisle has been moved. Yeah, it is. Now I can expand my search area a little wider. Okay. That's so dodgy. I'm not proud of that. Oh. Don't think that's a good hmm? thing. 4,539? 4,540? There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> Fuck's wrong with these people. The west side window. The sun's setting there, so that's the west. The west side window. The angle of the setting sun. That is the left side in regard to our direction of travel. That window right there. That window made a noise, didn't it? You heard it, right? I have to inform Dr. Johnson. Going to Washington, D.C. by plane. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. She has her name written on everything she owns. She's a D2? This is so bad. This plane is going down. It's okay. There's no problem. Oh, shut your mouth. There were lightning strikes on the flight. Over. This most definite. What is wrong with you? The window will keep on creaking. Suddenly it will break. We'll turn like crazy. Lightning will hit us again. A direct hit. Lightning? Yes, lightning. It'll blow an engine up this time, that's for sure. And what happens then, Mr. No Problem? This plane won't be flying anymore. You agree with me now, right? This plane is going down. No. This plane didn't crash. Did it crash? Did it? How the fuck would you know that? Who the hell do you think? Is there a problem, oh, madam? This, this dumb shit here is fucking with me. I told him the noise the window was making is bad news. I told him. Well, madam, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Very well. I just. Uh, Please allow me to handle this. Unbelievable. Oh. Well, well. So Let me mind. see now. Hello. Mr. Young, wasn't it? I have to admit, I didn't expect to ever see you again. I can't imagine why. Hey, Philip. <sighs> this flight attendant seems to know me. But he's on that. No idea when I met him, however. That's not for me. That breakfast first meeting is a past that hasn't happened yet. You are quite the stubborn mule. The type who won't stay dead even if he gets killed, maybe. Oh, I wonder. Alright. Get your hand off me, sir! 
<laughs> if you're going to cause trouble, I may have to eject you from the game. Wait, no, don't eject me from the game. I play trouble. Me? Your watch was about to fall off. It looks expensive, so I didn't think you'd want to lose it. I'm just a polite, helpful passenger. Look, ref. If you're gonna bench anyone, bench her. And I heard it. And if you don't listen to me, I don't know what I'll do. Just listen. Why is now I've got three people with names that start with D. Okay. He looks quite. Deborah Anderson, Duncan, and Derek Buchanan. To be honest, I still don't know if any one of them is who I'm after. But there's a bag load of room for suspicion. Ah, I'm not right, little Peggy. There is a wall room. Okay, guys. I'm gonna call this an episode because this has been going on too long. Uh, what I'll do is I'll continue from where we are and uh, I'll record it for you. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm loving this game. It's actually quite funny. It's just random bits, it's just hilarious. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this Wow. Catch it, put it close to your heart. Remember, don't forget that. That's the main key thing. It's part of my. Yeah, part of my love. Alright, guys. Well, much love. And I'll see you around, guys. Goodbye.